We're still in Psalm 19, and we're in verse 11. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Have you imagined what kind of life you would have and how your life would be if you truly lived by God's word? The passage says that the word of God warns us and the word of God is our reward. Do you think that obeying God will make your life boring, uh, that there will be no fun, there will be no pleasure, you would escape all the good things of this life? Because sometimes people think if they obeyed God's word and lived by God's word, they would become antisocial misfits in our world. Does cherishing the word of God makes us feel that we are missing out, that we are a bored and boring lot. I can excuse a person who doesn't know Christ as Lord thinking that way, but for any person who knows Jesus Christ as the Lord of their lives, living by God's word, you know, does not make your life boring. Look at what the joy you have for your salvation and your relationship with the Lord. So, when you read the Bible, uh, you see accounts of people who lived some of the most amazing lives because they lived by the warning of God's word. There's a story of a man called Noah uh, who was warned of a coming flood and uh, he obeyed that warning. People took it for granted and, and had fun and this man built a boat and in the boat he and his family were saved and all the animals that came with him in the boat were saved. Can you imagine what it is for Noah to step out from that ark and just see the devastation, the global catastrophe that has happened on the earth and to see that he survived. It's almost as if uh, something wiped everybody all over the earth and you survived simply because you obeyed God. Is that a boring life? I don't know about you, but that's a pretty good life. Or you think of a young boy who goes to battle and sees a big giant and everybody's afraid of the giant and he decides that he's going to take on this giant because he believes the word of God that God will protect him. And he goes out and, and actually defeats this big giant and brings massive victory to his whole nation. I don't think that is a boring life. I think that's a pretty much exciting life to know that obedience to God can pull down giants and give you this amount of victory. Or think of a, a widow who is about to die because she has no food and no source of sustenance with her son. And she receives the word of God and she believes the word of God. And because she believes the word of God, she is protected during this time of farming where people uh, even wealthier cannot make it. She survives. She has food to eat with her son and they go through the farming and survive. I don't know about you, but that's a very good life. But all of these happen because people took God at his word and trusted his word. So when we obey God's word, the passage says that it warns us. And warning is good. Warning is good. It's good to be warned. Can you imagine life without warning? Electrical installations have no warning. They don't tell us the voltage. You go just touch it and poof, you're gone. Can we think of roads without any warnings, no road signs and no warnings, drivers are not warned, everybody just goes as they are. Without warning, our lives are exposed to constant danger. And that's why God's word is a warning to us so that we can keep away from danger. And God's word is our reward. When we obey him and we submit to his word, our lives are rewarded. Like Noah was rewarded, David was rewarded, and the widow of Zarephath was rewarded. May God reward you as you obey his word. And may his word give you victory in your battles of life. And may the word of God protect you against the dangers that lurk in the darkness of life. I believe God's word is your strength and your shield. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to see the warning signs from your word. I receive the reward of obedience in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll be with you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.